What's up guys, my name is Anton Suarez, and in this video we are going to be talking about a fantastic application that can give you a terminal built in on your desktop. So this application is called Tilda. Now Tilda you can install with the uh, Arch user repository with sudo pacman-s tilde. And once you do that you can get the awesome application. Now. Once you've installed the application, it will appear in your app tray or applications panel, and then you can turn it on. For me, I have it bound to tilde, and when I press tilde, my little terminal appears. So the whole idea behind tilde is that it's a standalone desktop terminal. It's very good when you're doing a lot of development or you're doing a lot of back and forth from, say, a web browser. This isn't a web browser, but as an example, this could be a web browser, this could be tilde, and you can go back and forth between the two. Really, really handy. Now, we can go through the preferences of Tilda, and there's a lot of customization that you can do with Tilda, and that's really the whole purpose of this. I was, uh, I was looking to solve a problem. The problem was I was doing a lot of installation of new applications, and I was getting annoyed between going from Terminator and going to Google Chrome, like back and forth, back and forth. Now, I wanted something built in the desktop that would always be there. So I looked, up, I looked that up, and I found Tilda which is really, really cool. I like when I'm able to solve a problem very quickly and it's a very solid solution. You can change the width and height, so I'm changing the height. You can change how it's centered, uh, where it's positioned on the screen. Most likely when you start it up, it will be in the top left, at least it was for me. You can change transparency, so I can make it really, really transparent, possibly all the way. So now it's, it's, it's fully transparent. Um, and if I really wanted to be fully immersed, I can disable scrolling and it's just, it's just a terminal on the desktop. So I can do all the terminal commands you'd ever need, and it works like any other terminal. This could be a hint to another video in the future. Watch out for that, if you know what that is. Clear that out. Okay, so uh, you can change colors. So background color, you can make it black and select that, obviously, oh, there it goes. And then you can change transparency. So we'll type in 40. So 40%. So you can really play around with Tilda. I like customization. You know me with Arch Linux. My entire thing about using Arch Linux is because customization. And it's the whole reason why I use it. So uh, yeah, that's really it about Tilda. You can have multiple Tilda windows. So technically I can open up, I can press Tilda again, and it will bring me another terminal. So this terminal will have its own preferences, and own color, and own uh, location. So you can have multiple terminals. On the desktop, so let's let's actually uh, move this over in the X. I'll do it uh, a thousand. Oh, and that went to the other desktop. We'll do two thousand. There it is. So you can have two terminal windows on the desktop, living dedicated on the desktop. I really like that um, feeling of like switching back and forth and just always having a terminal. There's that uh, usability factor, but it's also that like hacker factor where like you're sitting there typing commands away, and it makes you feel like a hacker or a programmer, whatever you want to feel like, but it's cool. I like things that I like finding solutions for problems very quickly and they work really, really out of the box. So that's it for this video. What do you think about tilde? Do you use tilde before tilde? I used to use drop down terminal. Uh, that was a gnome extension, but now I probably use this from now on because it's just so easy to use and there's no real issues with it. Uh, gnome extensions had some issues with it with drop down terminal before in the past, but this is a real solid solution. So leave in the comment sections what you use, and if you like Tilda, if I helped you out finding Tilda, leave it in the comment section below. And any recommendations for softwares to uh, look at, uh, about that being terminal emulators or uh, video editing. I'm still searching for the best video editor on Linux. I still can't find it. There's always more to be needed, and I'm still, still looking. So if you have any recommendations for any applications, please recommend them. As always, please rate, like, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.